Okay, some real life examples of uh, book topics slash freelancers, writers we found today. Uh, how expert guide to hedgehogs. That's one topic by Harper. Next topic is building computers by Tyler. Fargo, North Dakota by Grant. Flint, Michigan from Julie. Just to show you real life examples behind the scenes. The cover letter answer, answers, examples here from uh, Grant for the topic of Fargo, North Dakota. I've lived in Fargo, North Dakota for si nearly six years. My job has been learning about the city, providing my knowledge for the area since I was 18 years old. I can cover everything from restaurants to family friendly, educational locations and everything in between. Another aspect I'm knowledgeable in is in where to get work done and around the city, the area, as well as the local coffee shops and hangout spaces. If this was a scale of to one to 10, I'm fully confident I'm giving a 10. In addition to that, he also mentioned that he does work in an editorial department in Spotlight Media in Fargo, North Dakota. Spotlight writes and publishes seven plus magazines with 15,000 plus copies of each being distributed monthly. I have previous experience as the lead variety editor at the Spectrum, a locally published newspaper in Fargo, North Dakota. So who better else to, than somebody who has real life experience being a lead, previous lead variety editor for a, a, a publishing company in that city, Fargo, to represent that city. So that's why I'm interested in hiring this person, Grant, for the topic of How Expert Guide to Fargo, North Dakota, 101 Tips to Learn About, Discover Places to Visit, Find Things to Do and Explore, no, Fargo, North Dakota. Future book coming soon in the future, okay? The next topic is, <sighs> this is fantastic. This is absolutely fantastic. Sorry about that. I think I, I, I have to go backwards. <laughs> uh, short list. Okay. These are the four writers here. Harper here. Okay. We have another writer here. Harper here for the topic of. I've owned exotic pets such as geckos, snakes, and snails, but my favorite to work with is hedgehogs. Okay, I have a passion for caring for these cute, cuddly, and sometimes prickly creatures. Having owned many hedgehogs over the years, I'm well-versed in their behavior and unique needs. I'll be qualified to write articles such as Top 10 Hedgehog Owners Tips. My audience would be folks who are considering purchasing or adopting a hedgehog. But would like to have a basic overview of what their care entails. So here you go, Harper, for the topic of hedgehogs. Okay, so that's uh, another topic right there um, we discovered today. Next writer, freelancer, expert topic is Julie K here for the topic of our expert guide to Flint, Michigan. And however, cover letter answers that kind of stood out was here. I am from Flint, Michigan. I was born and raised in Flint, which was not an easy city to grow up as a sheltered, fundamental Baptist young white female coming from a well off family who owned a water company and spent every waking moment not in school, either in cheerleading basketball school or church activities. Flint, with its bad reputation, is not a scary city for me. It is home. I've run around downtown Flint with devoted runner groups as I trained for my first marathon, and I've driven around the middle of the night of the east side as a teenager without care in the world. People are generally welcoming, and even though it is a city that once thrived, the people stay fill Flint strong, and we, whom they call Flintstones, are proud of our hometown. I'm confident and possess the competence to weave a story about Flint, Michigan, in a in a light many have not seen before. When I think of Flint, I think of apple orchards, blueberry fields, grandma's house, and bonfires. Riding the bus home late on a Friday night after the winning the biggest game of the season. Tears about boys and late night American restaurants on a school night. Because why not? I can explain how the road curves as you drive to the Grand Blank. The rich city in Hennessy County from Davidson down Center Road past the police station and the post office. Man, this is the book right here, man. <laughs> like she's writing it like it's a book. This is like the way she describes it. You can almost imagine yourself being there, right? 
This is the writing skills and style that you're looking for. Three things you're looking for, freelancer, topic, expertise, and number three, writing. And writing, I like her style here, okay? So um, I can explain how the world curves, okay? That's the post office everybody knows. I see myself stopping to fill up a tank at the speedway on the right. Oh, maybe stop across the street to grab a DVD at Rainbow Video. It's only $1.99 for the night. I would say I'm a 10 in both confidence and competence. And if you enjoy my style, you would love to hear about ro roller rinks and bowling, Easter egg hunts, and where to go and not to go on Black Friday night. Awesome. So this is a topic, Julie K, for the topic of Flint, Michigan. Okay. So the next topic is Tyler. Okay. For the topic of building computers. Okay, his topic is going about building computers because he's into building PC personal computers. His uh, cover letter example is here. Building computers has always been the most important passion hobby in my life. Computer building has allowed me to keep and involve myself with the newest technologies available. Over the years, I've built approximately 15 computers for myself or acquaintances and have had to keep up with the constant developments in the field. Building computers allows me to express important parts of myself from the meticulous planning or organizational standards I prefer to communicate through and the uniqueness of each build that is created for various reasons and individuals. Building a computer is a passion that provides an outlet for myself. I have written a 50-page instruction manual on the task as well. So that, that's what kind of stood out for me. He already has put in the work, a system, a, uh, you know, showcasing his process that has worked for him. The manual included step-by-step -step instructions, visual aids, a glossary, and an index, as well as sections expanding on the topic of the discussion that works to educate the reader on the topic of technology and computer hardware. So the freelancer doesn't have to be the top-of-the-line expert computer, you know, designer or whatever, right? If they're an everyday person who puts in the work, Behind the scenes, put a put a already created a how to guide on their own. You know, wow, they already probably have a formula, a system, a process, right? Um, building a computer is a passion that provides an outlet for myself. I've written a fifty page, okay. Topic of discussion: I work to educate the reader on the topic of technology and computer hardware. For this article's list, my article will be following these tip, tips. With room for adjustments, if requested, understand each step of the build process before anything. Confirm each computer component is compatible. Ensure each computer component is required. Okay, okay. so I'm not going to go to read everything, but it's us. He just has a vision for the book, step by step, ten plus tips. Okay, so that's real life example for Tyler for the topic of building computers. We get Julie K for the Flint, Michigan. Harper K, Harper J for the topic of Hedgehog. And here, Grant A for the topic of another city, right? Fargo, North Dakota. Okay, so there you go. Real life examples. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more, check out my online course, publishersystem.com, to learn how to publish your own book as an ebook, paperback, audiobook, hardback, all forms to all genres, whether you want to do nonfiction, fiction, or low content, no content books. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.